Hello, everybody, and welcome to a brand new edition of the Superhouse Podcast's preeminent action figure collecting show, Hot Package. I'm your host, Stefan, also known as Rondo McGillicuddy. I'm also a co-host of the Superhouse Podcast. If you've yet to hear about us, please check out our website at superhousepod.com and our SoundCloud at soundcloud.com backslash superhousepodcast. Oh, and on Facebook at facebook.com backslash Superhouse Podcast. We talk movies, TV, video games, travel, technology, futurism, philosophy, pop culture, and anything else in the geek nerd realm. And stay tuned for more great content coming to you from Superhouse in 2018. All right, so if you're familiar with the series of Hot Package uh, episodes I did before this, uh, that was like the pilot season, essentially, just to see if I wanted to stick it out and... Uh, what it really made me want to do was get a really legit background going, and as you can see, I've done just that. Um, I, it took me a while to get back into the swing of things. Um, I actually built this by hand. Um, I discovered a community online of diorama makers and action figure photographers um, that were really helpful in the... In the, uh, basically found a bunch of tutorials on how to build something like this. Um, it's made of insulation foam board, that pink stuff you could get at, um, at Home Depot. It's really malleable stuff. You can pretty much shape it into anything that you want. It's acrylic paint um, and what else? Little sheets of foam as you see up here and uh, just a lot of uh, man hours to pull it out. Um, the inspiration for this, if you can't already tell, is the X-Men's Danger Room. I really was keen on getting a Danger Room background um, I actually solicited a guy through one of these communities, the diorama building communities, to, to help me out here, but he seemed really busy, so I was just like, shoot, I'll just figure it out myself. Um, so what I did was I ended up uh, just doing a lot of research, looking at YouTube tutorials, and whipping this thing together. What I'm going to do now is just kind of point out a couple of things, and um, uh, yeah. So, uh, you know, initially the design is based on the Sega Genesis version of the X-Men's Danger Room. I don't know if you see this little box here um, in the X-Men video game on the Sega Genesis. Uh, I basically took that uh, object right out of there, um, as well as this back wall you'll see uh, with uh, all these doodads and machinery. I'll move Loki out of the way so you can see it. It's a... Uh, pretty cool mechanical looking kind of scenario and this all this stuff is this was from a crackers plastic tray um, stuff like this just packaging plastic packaging I painted black and glued to this thing um, the design the shape of that is out of that X-Men video game as well uh, more or less um, as well as you'll see on this side you see this little viewing room we got cable in there and actually that's Jen or so from Star Wars as you can see there's Kylo Ren um, put Loki back up there. Shatterstar about to battle him out in the danger room. Pretty cool, pretty cool. <clears throat> so I wanted that big circular door in the background, kind of like the movies. I also saw people online doing this kind of like caution yellow and black lines. Um, and I wanted to do that for myself. And you got kind of an X embedded in the design in the background there. Uh, you know, again, these these bits right here on the side, they're the vents and stuff. That was all inspired by the Sega Genesis X-Men video game. Um, this little bit right here, I think, turned out really awesome here on the very end right here. Just if you look at the video game, there's a background that's exactly this shape. So I was really happy with how that turned out. Yeah, so this viewing room is really cool. Um, I used a little bit of like little plexi plastic that I got at the hobby shop. Like I said, acrylic paint, stuff I found around the house, and pieces of foam to make these panels that jut out a little bit. Um, I'll move Shatterstar and show you this little stand here. Everything comes off, everything, there's the pink foam you can tell on the bottom. Everything comes off and uh, it's kind of designed to sit places. The stairs come up and out. And all the background on the edges of the background down below here on the corners, there are magnets, so the entire thing can be collapsed and broken down and stored and set up again uh, as per the, the magnets. So uh, I really hope you're enjoying what you're looking at. I was really excited for these Hot Package episodes to have a legit ass background um, 
to review some toys in and this is what I've done so far. I'm sure I'm gonna add to it a little bit here and there, maybe a little more details here. It looks pretty cartoony still, but for the most part, I thought it was ready to shoot, ready to go. So yeah, uh, it also sparked an interest in this new hobby of diorama building, miniature building and stuff like that. If you have an interest in diorama building or how I constructed this or finding the techniques on how I constructed this, um, go on to YouTube, look up the ACBA Articulated Comic Book Art. ACBA is a community that does these dioramas and action figure photography. As well as on Facebook, check out Dio Structure. Um, for some good tutorials, look up Bob the Odd, uh, Al Figures, and there's just a ton of them. I learned a lot and there will definitely be more dioramas to come. I have a bunch of ideas for different sets that can be interchanged throughout the Hot Package episodes. So yeah, that just wanted to point out a bit of the diorama and what went into it. And uh, if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments. And um, without further ado, let's get to reviewing some toys. All right, toy collectors, this is your boy, uh, Stefan. Um, I am here and uh, I just introduced you to the new diorama and everything. And in honor of the new diorama, the X-Men Danger Room diorama, I wanted to review a figure that um, I've had for a little while, I've been itching to put it on the show and get the show together and everything. Um, but in honor of the X-Men, I wanna do this X-Men Legends rogue figure. Uh, I know quite a few of you already have already seen it. I gotta catch up on some figures so you'll be seeing a lot of old figures, but hey, um, that's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes. Uh, and I'm happy to bring you my examination of this rogue figure. I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, I got Shatterstar posted up over there either protecting her or about to attack her. I'm not exactly sure. But anyway, um, <laughs> on the box here, you'll see Rogue in her little plastic prison. They give you a, a little a hand without her glove so you can uh, act out her stealing people's powers and whatnot. First off, just the paint, I already can tell. The paint looks great and the costume looks awesome. Uh, that jacket looks really wicked. And uh, yeah, you got the Juggernaut uh, Build-A-Figure leg in there. I really would love to get a hold of all the Build-A-Figure pieces for that Juggernaut, hell yeah. Um, on the box as well, you got pretty decent, looks like a Greg Horn or somebody, a uh, piece of art right here of Rogue, pretty cool. You know, can't, can't beat it. Um, a photo, Rogue on the back the figure being posed and stuff. I Oftentimes I feel like the photographers who are doing this, just like, you know, the lighting and everything looks great, but the pose is just so like uninspired. You could do a lot better than this uh, Hasbro. Um, here's the listing of all the figures in this wave. I really want that Wolverine. There's the Build-A-Figure Juggernaut looking badass. Uh, I have this cable as I've reviewed on a previous episode in season zero um, of Hot Package, but uh, yeah. There's the box, and so I'm gonna go ahead and pop her out of here, and we're gonna take a look. So the first thing out of the package we get is this little hand, it's Rogue's hand without the glove. Um, you can pop the other hand out and pop this one in. So you can see her with gloveless hand that she would use to suck other mutant powers away and be able to use them briefly uh, for her own um, for her own needs really she's a hero she wouldn't do anything so villainous as to take it out of spite or in malice uh, that's not her way and that's why she is an x-man um, pretty dang cool having a lot of fun with this figure i like the gloveless hand that'd be it'd be cool if they had another hand where it was the um hand with a glove hanging out of it that you could pop into the other one so it looks as though she took the uh she took the glove off herself when you posed her and anyway but maybe for a custom project sometime uh, that'd be pretty cool the jacket looks cool or the paint application on the hair looks awesome the boots look cool but it's one of those things with marvel legends where you have this kind of wonky straps and things that kind of float on the figure it can be kind of annoying and look kind of stupid, but you know, when posed right, you don't really notice them. Um, the hair sculpt right here looks really cool. Very cool. Uh, a lot of good detail in here. 
and uh, yeah, really great figure. I think uh, you know the articulation looks good, the pose is good. Already, I got a better pose than the one on the back of the the box. Um, but yeah, she's pretty cool. I'm glad to add more uh, female characters to my collection. This has been Hot Package. That's been uh, Rogue uh, from the Marvel Legends series. Uh, really great figure. Hope you enjoyed this video. Check out the Superhouse podcast. Thank you for watching. And we got a bunch of new stuff coming in 2018. Bunch of new Hot Package episodes. Welcome back. Until next time, this is Stefan signing off. Thank <laughs> you.